In this tutorial we will look at the note triggering subpatches from the previous tutorials. They play very simple sequences which we are using to set the frequencies of the oscillators. The two note subpatch is very very simple. It uses a metro to toggle a toggle object, this outputs a 0 or a 1, we use select to trigger different messages with fixed pitches to the outlet. The many note subpatch is more interesting. We use an object called table to store a list of numbers. The table needs to be given a name. This can be anything, but don't use spaces or complicated characters. Our table is called notes. We can set the numbers with a simple message. Make sure to start the message with a semicolon. Then type the name of your table in a zero. The zero is not a note value, it tells the table we are setting notes at the start of the table. The numbers are that are your MIDI note values. Remember that 60 is a middle C, and it increments in semitones. Once you have created the message, lock the patch and click on it to send the values to the table. We can then access the values in the table using the tab read object, giving it the same name as a table, in this case, notes. Sending simple numbers to the table then gives us a note values. For example, sending a zero gives us the first note in our list, a one gives us the second note, and so on. Now let's add the metro. We'll need to include some objects that count through our notes table. That means outputting the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then resetting to 0 to loop the melody. We can do that with three objects together that form a simple count to. Have a look at the in and modulo help files to check how this works, or try it out for yourself. Note that we have six notes in our table here, so we set the modulo argument to six. We can now hook this up and output the notes to the main patch with an outlet. Once you have a table set up, you can easily change the notes in the sequence with simple messages. 